I'm going to show you how to get rid of uh, something on a reading list. So let's just go ahead and open up Safari. All right. Now I have this open already, but the way you get it open is you would come over to this little box with, uh, actually it's two, it's a square and then it's a, a rectangle with some lines in it. You're going to just click on that. It's going to open up this window. It's going to slide to the right. And in there you're going to see you've got bookmarks and a reading list. The reading list is uh, the only thing that where you can delete. So I'm just going to go to uh, Google and I'm just going to take my cursor. I'm going to put it over Google and I'm going to take my finger on my mouse from the right side. I'm going to slide it laterally straight across and it's going to pull that over. And then I've got two options, save offline or remove. So if I wanted to remove it, I would just click that and now it's out of my reading list. It's not, it's not gone. If you look over here, you can see I can still get to Google by clicking on it. But um, let's say, let's see if there's another one that I want to get rid of. Let's get rid of, oh, I don't know, Instagress. Let's slide that over, and it just disappears <laughs> automatically. Let's go to the other Instagress. So I'm taking my finger from the right to the left, and I'm just sliding it, and it just disappears. I don't even have to click on it. It's just gone. And that's basically how you do it. Um, if you've got any unread ones, they'll show up here. But apparently, we don't have any unread ones. Now, here's another thing. That if you look at your bookmarks, you're going to notice that I can put my cursor over one and nothing happens. You can't delete these that way, you know, to like you did your, uh, uh, your reading list. So these are kind of like they're in there. <laughs> and if you click on one, I'll click on birthday comp. This comes up, and uh, it's kind of like it's in my favorites. You know, and over here you can add this to your reading list by clicking right here. But um, the computer recognizes it as one of my favorites. So anyway, that's how you uh, do your um, your bookmarks. And uh, let me just go. Let me go to reading list again. So with the reading list, if you want to add something to the reading list, I come over here. You see that little plus sign at the top? And if you look in the URL, it says add page to reading list. And if I click there, there it is. It's on the it's right up here. Bam, done. There it is in my reading list. All right. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff.